Hello and welcome to How to Play Llamas Unleashed, presented by GatherTogetherGames.com. This video will cover how to play the card game Llamas Unleashed. The video will start with the general concepts and gameplay, and then get into more of the details for the game. The game is played with 2 to 8 players. To play, you will need the Llamas Unleashed card game. The game comes with baby animal cards with white card backs, other playing cards with blue card backs, and reference cards. Each player is given a reference card with helpful information that can be referenced during the game. Then, each player will select a baby animal card and place it face up in front of them. Cards face up are known as in the field. The remaining baby animal cards are placed in the middle and this stack of cards is known as the nursery. Lastly, the blue back cards are shuffled and each player is dealt five cards. The five cards dealt are a player's hand. The remaining cards are placed in the middle and this stack of cards is known as the deck. To review, the setup has the nursery, the deck, a player's field which are cards visible by all players, and a player's hand which should be kept hidden from the other players. The object of the game is to be the first player to get 7 animal cards in your field when playing with 2 to 5 players, or be the first player to get 6 animal cards in your field when playing with 6 to 8 players. The first player to play starts the game by drawing the top card of the deck. The player then gets to play a card or choose to draw another card instead of playing a card. Player 2 draws a card, then plays an animal card into their field. After a player has taken an action by playing a card or drawing a second card, play moves clockwise left. Player 3 starts by drawing a card. Player 3 then takes an action by playing an upgrade card into their field. Play moves to player 1 and players continue taking turns throughout the gameplay. There are different types of cards within the deck. There are basic animal cards that can be played into a player's field and will count towards getting the required number of animals to win. There are magical animal cards that can be played into a player's field. These also count towards getting the required number of animals to win, plus may require taking additional action based on the card description. There are upgrade cards that can be played into your field or any other player's field. These cards may require taking additional action based on the card description. Similarly, there are downgrade cards that can be played into any player's field. These cards also may require taking additional action based on the card's description. There are magic cards that can be played into the discard pile. The discard pile is created next to the deck. When playing a magic card, the description of the card will determine the action to be taken. Lastly, there are instant cards. These cards are played any time in response to another card being played. The instant cards can be played out of turn immediately following another player playing a card. When playing an instant card, take the action described on the card. During gameplay, you may have a card in your field that states, if this card is in your field at the beginning of your turn, action on these cards are taken before drawing a card. Once the actions required to be taken, or the actions chosen to be taken are completed, a player will draw a card, and then choose to play a card or draw another card as normal. Jumping into the middle of a game, once players have one or more cards in their field, these cards are reviewed before drawing a card. Some cards in a player's field may require action to be taken. Here, player 2 has the Ramstar Energy Drink card in the field that allows for two cards to be played instead of just one. Player 2 draws a card and then plays two cards. Play moves to player 3. Player 3 has the Walking Trash Compactor Upgrade card in the field that allows player 3 to choose a card from the discard pile instead of drawing a card. Player 3 chooses a card from the discard pile and plays the drawn Magic card that allows for two cards to be drawn from the deck. Play moves to player 1, and players continue to take turns. Once a player has the required number of animal cards in their field, they win the game. Player 2 draws a card, and plays the 7th animal card into their field. Player 2 wins this game. Players can have a maximum of 7 cards in their hand at the end of a turn. If a player has more, they must discard cards to get to 7 cards. 
If players have three or more animal cards of the same variation in their field, they get a herd bonus. The herd bonuses are listed on the reference cards. Player 2 has three ram variation cards and can take the ram herd bonus, which states you may discard a card. If you do, destroy an alpaca, goat, or llama card. This action is taken at the beginning of a player's turn before a card is drawn. Some cards have actions that can be taken continuously on each turn like the Ramstar Energy Drink card. Other cards have an action that is only taken once when first played like the Bahama Llama card. Sometimes a card may state an action that is impossible for you to take. If so, disregard the card. For example, if a player were to play the Sheer Terror Magic card and you didn't have a Llama or Alpaca card in your field, you would disregard this card. That wraps up how to play Llamas Unleashed. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and get more game tutorials by subscribing to our channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.